So let's do some Friday night speculating of a piece of art that recently has fallen into the hands of fans. Now, the Earthrise Wave 1 Voyager and Leader Class toys have started to fall into the hands of fans. And one of these fans scanned the side of the packaging, and there's a nice piece of artwork there. Now, in the past, with the Siege line, we had all kinds of really beautiful artwork, and all that artwork that we were shown always kind of gave us a, how do I put it, a little spoiler of toys we were going to be getting and designs of those toys that we'd be getting. Good example being Chromia or Thundercracker or even that of Barricade. Now, this might be the same case too, but I could be totally wrong. Could be totally wrong. I mean, maybe all of this is just for fun, this art on the side, but... If I was a betting man, this is a strong indication of what we are going to be getting design-wise and character-wise for the future of the Earthrise line. And with the leaks that we got recently, added to the fact that uh, we have New York Toy Fair in less than a month now, um, yeah, it's looking like this is more and more a reality. So let's just go through it top to bottom, and you could give me what you think about these two. Obviously, like we'll go like right away. The Ark and the Nemesis. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's going to be no toys of those guys. But let's go to the next one. we got Unicron in the top left there. That's obviously because we have the War for Cybertron Unicron toy from HasLab coming. You know, whatever. There's not much to say about that one. That's no surpriser. Let's go to the Megatron here. Now, this Megatron, I was quick to say, maybe this is just the Siege Wave 1 Voyager Megatron toy. You know, I saw the backpack there, and I saw the, the treads, but I, I don't know, just that that shoulder there on the right. I don't know, it, it, it could be potentially the new Megatron toy that we were hearing about for Earthrise. But, I mean, that one, I, I can't say written in stone that that's that. We look at the Optimus, and I'm going to take a guess here that it's, you know, it's the leader class Wave 1 Earthrise Optimus that we're going to be getting soon. The featured toy of the line in a lot of ways. Uh, we have the Quintesson here. Again, we had the leaks for uh, Earthrise stuff that were a couple days ago. Looks like a G1 Quintesson. Uh, I hope it really does an amazing job at being our first ever true official Generation 1 86 movie Quintesson, not just the Alpha Q that we had all those years ago that was kind of hit or miss, depending on you know how you want to look at it. Uh, we got here a Wheeljack, which clearly is, of course, the Earthrise Wave 1 Deluxe Wheeljack. Uh, following up here is Hound. The Hound, I mean, I'm going to assume with the Hound, judging by the chest here, uh, it's the uh, the Wave 1 Siege Hound toy that we got before. Uh, there's some guys on the right there, some little dudes. So we have a Bumblebee and what looks like, I want to say, Mirage. Uh, I could be wrong with the Mirage one, but I mean, if it is Mirage, it's probably homaging uh, the Mirage that we just got recently, the brand new mold from the fan vote. Again, Siege thing. Bumblebee's an interesting one because that one, part of me goes... Are we going to be getting a Bumblebee toy in Earthrise? I mean, he didn't really get anything in Siege proper, um, especially something that's more of a Generation 1 kind of design. Uh, so this is an interesting one. Is it maybe just because they want to have Bumblebee on the packaging? That's also a possibility. But I'm kind of hoping that it probably means we're going to be finally getting a new Bumblebee toy in some shape or form in a Generation 1 design. It's been a while. It feels like it's been a while since we got a decent one. Um, I mean, Generations gave us that, like, ugly, I don't know how you want to put it, like, you know, sports car one that they used later on for Nightbeat in that deluxe size. Let's get let's get something new. Let's get something new. Maybe uh, that inner robot pretender Bumblebee. You know, from the classic pretenders or something. I don't know. Uh, then we have Trailbreaker here. This is a big one because we know that we have the hoist mold coming for Earthrise Wave 1. And looking at this Trailbreaker and looking at the upper chest, it clearly is not the Generations IDW-inspired Trailbreaker toy. That's just his art being used there. This is clearly a new Trailbreaker design that looks like, I mean, judging by that little window on the chest, it's a retool of the hoist mold. We kind of knew that was coming. This just really confirms it visually. Uh, we'll jump to the left here. We have Double Dealer. 
uh, sitting, chilling, looking at some kind of stuff on his view screen there. It looks like a bunch of planets from Bionicles or something. Um, but yeah, uh, this is awesome. I mean, it, it confirms that his design of dealer or double dealer uh, looks like his Generation 1 counterpart from what I could tell from him sitting here. Obviously, he doesn't have his big shoulder cannon, but again, he's sitting and chilling, uh, so it's hard to tell. But again, it kind of confirms at least 100% that we're getting something that's inspired by that. Um, then we go again, we'll jump uh, under Double Dealer. We have... See, this one's interesting. So we got Shockwave. Shockwave was originally a leader class from the Siege line just last year, so it's probably just that but behind him is someone trapped in a bubble and part of me man part of me wants to hope it's micronus prime one of the original 13 uh because he had like this kind of like force field to bubble thing but it, it probably is just an experiment or something uh but it would be cool to get micronus with all these micro masters and stuff to finally get a toy of him i don't know maybe maybe i'm stretching maybe i'm dead on who knows but that would be really cool but uh it's probably just one of his experiments in the background um, then we have, let's go to Sideswipe. Sideswipe clearly by his chest design stuff. It's based off of the Wave 1 Siege toy. And last but not least, and this is the most interesting one, we have RC. Now, we knew RC was coming because of the leaks, but we didn't know what shape of form or how she looked. We had a really, really pretty much as good as it's going to get for that price point and budget deluxe Generations figure of RC. Um, and this one looks like the Generation 1 counterpart also. So are we going to get something that is a modern G1 interpretation of that RC with the budget and standards that Deluxe Toys are today, as opposed to, say, the Generations 1 that came out in, I want to say it was 2014? So, you know, that's going to be an interesting one because we really haven't had a really good official RC toy in a while uh, based off of the Generation 1 design. I mean, we kind of had an in-between where we had that Headmaster's RC from Hascon, and that really didn't fit anyone's, you know, checklist outside of, you know, people that wanted a Headmaster RC. And even then, it wasn't an homage to the original character model because you know the the character model on the show really just was the original rc with somehow a transforming head i mean you know using the the tricks that the cartoon did and it wasn't an homage to the original prototype which used uh chrome dome they kind of just used the titan master blur gave it the new head sculpt i mean i still liked it i went to hascon picked it up it was cool but at the same time uh i don't know that it wasn't the best uh, RC toy we could get, really. Uh, I really like that Generations one that we got, even more specifically the uh, Legends version, which is the Japanese repaint. Uh, does a really good job at matching the character model and the colors and everything. And that one was designed by Yuki Oshima, uh, Mr. Kiss Play himself, and also the guy that works on the Beast Wars Masterpiece stuff. So he did a really good job engineering it. So I'm really curious how it's going to look, especially if this here confirms that this is the design they're going to go with. They're going with the original 86 movie Generation 1 design. So yeah, that's this is that's it in a nutshell here. But I mean, it gives us, again, it gives us a little bit of an out, output of what could possibly be coming uh, in the next couple months or year of the Earthrise line. And it's exciting. There's a lot of cool designs. And hopefully, you know, in the next couple of days or so, we'll see a more concrete set of information. If not, a month from now, we do have New York Toy Fair, and then we'll have stuff in person. And that's going to be a maddening couple of days for the podcast, I know, when that news drops. So let me know what you think of all about this and what you're the most hyped about.